and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Boros Feather. That's right, since rotation, I just have not seen anybody playing Feather the Redeemed. Yes, we don't have Reckless Rage anymore, but we still got a lot of good cards. And so I want to give it a try. So that's what we're going to be doing here, um, is giving Feather the Redeemed um, a try. As you can see here, it's mostly all um, cards from before rotation. All that I have from Throne of Eldraine in my deck is these three Robber of the Rich to give me like that extra two drop to replace Adanto Vanguard. Um, you know, Robber of the Rich being a 2-2 hasn't been super impressive, but you know, maybe sometimes you use a Defiant Strike on it, make it bigger with Gird for Battle or Samet Sprint. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try some Robber of the Riches for that extra two drop in here. And then I got I got one White Castle, a Fabled Passage, um, and I guess my lands. <laughs> but that's that's really it from Throne of Eldraine. So, you know, we're going with a throwback deck here. Um, and then uh, sideboard, obviously, Oko is probably a big problem. You know, like, it turns Feather in, into an Elk, all that kind of stuff. I'm going to try, like, having some spy glasses in the sideboard, see how that goes. Against control decks, they use a lot of removal. Um, I'm going to try some... I got some Outlaws Merriment in the sideboard uh, for the control matchups that... Uh, we can just play a threat that doesn't die to uh, time wipe. Um, so I'm excited about that. And plus, we got a third Gideon in the sideboard also, where the Gideons are pretty good there in the control matchups. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this. Uh, I kind of have the Solar Blaze in here. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do with the Solar Blaze. I don't know. I feel like it could kill some stuff, maybe. This could most likely be a better sideboard card. I don't know. We'll see. Um, the only thing in our deck that Solar Blaze kills is Robber and 10th District Legionnaire. You know, it doesn't kill Arcanist, Cranko, or Feather. Those are all creatures that, that don't die to Solar Blaze. Yeah, I got Fries in the sideboard. Yeah, it doesn't kill Loco, but there's just other white and blue decks um, at times that you play against. And so we got some Fries. Um, I'm trying to main deck Prison Realm also just for Planeswalker removal instead of the third Lava Coil. I think like normally I'd want to play like a third Lava Coil, but I think that Planeswalker removal is just really important right now. So we got a, a main deck Prison Realm. Um, maybe these should be Justice Strikes instead of Coils. That's a possibility, but all right, let's give this a try. So we're going to play through a league. We're going to see if we can get to five wins and all this gold like we have with the other two decks today before we get to two losses. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, Fry's for Teferi. That's that's a good point. Yeah, we need Fry for Teferi. Because, yeah, Teferi shuts down our deck really hard. I should maybe have more Fry's. But I guess we got Prison Realms, too. All right, Hawkeye, you going to help us out? Hawkeye's going to help us out. Hmm. Mountain, mountain, mulligan, singular mountain. Is this why nobody's playing feather? They just give you awful hands. That's got to be it. Hawkeye, <laughs> not hot guy. All right, playable hand. Let's get rid of Gideon because we got to get rid of a card and. Gosh, I really want to keep all six of these. This is not fair. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could just put back the third land and hope we draw another one. We have the temple to scry for a land. Awkward. My one Fabled Passage. I was debating between playing one Fabled Passage or one of the Gain Life Lands. The Gain Life Land is just always tapped. But, you know, it does a better job of casting your spells. But it just always comes into play tapped. So I thought it may be better to have the Fabled Passage. Hey, look at that. It's an early block. 
on just a 2-2, the Legionnaire can definitely get bigger. Are we going to be the, the first person to untap with a feather since War of the Spark? Wow, we get to untap with a feather. Um... Oh, I guess I should have fetched first before I started scrying. Whoops. Yeah, if you have yeah, if you have Teferi uh, instead of Dovin, or uh, if you don't have Teferi, I'd recommend um, the three mana Planeswalker removal that enchantment. Use that thing. Hmm. Prison Realm, yeah. So possible I shouldn't play this and hold up the other two mana, so like I Defiant Strike find like a God's Willing. Okay, I guess I did not play around Ritual of Soot at all. I did not, I, did, I don't know, that was not on my radar. That was not on my radar. Well, definitely should not have played that creature. Opponent got me. All right, so next turn I'll coil the Lich, strike the Cranko to make it three power, to make three Gobos. They're getting rid of Cry of the Carnarium. Isn't Cry of the Carnarium like pretty good here? They could just have more sweepers. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the turn two creature, turn three creature, turn four ritual of set. But that's what happened. Yay. So there's no sheltering light anymore. That's another card that rotated out. Okay, do I want to double shock the Lich or have the shocks for them? If I don't double shock Lich, it's going to be a light, you know, it's gonna, they're going to gain a life, so it'll go to nine. I'm going to do it. I don't, 
I don't want them to have more cards. Their cards are really scary. I don't want them to have another look at something. Plus, this is good against um, that card right there, Blood for Bones. Gross. Bastion is free right now on iOS? Dude, Bastion is awesome. That game's really cool. Got to do eight damage. I guess I'm supposed to save the God's Willing. I was considering just using the God's Willing. I guess I'm supposed to save it. Um, yeah, I played Bastion on my iPad like seven years ago. I don't have an iPad anymore. I haven't for years, but at the time I did. Bleh. We play it for like five minutes. It looks the same. Controls are kind of clunky, but music and narration are the same. Yeah, those are has great narration and great music. I, that's that's kind of about all I remember from that game because yeah, like I said, it was like seven years ago, would be my guess. Um, yeah, a sure assemble could be that could be a thing. Creature gets a what a plus one plus one counter and gains indestructible until end of turn. Does cost two mana, but. The problem with saving saving the Legionnaire is that then they get to steal it if I keep it alive. I don't know. Why am I keeping this Gideon? Probably shouldn't be keeping this Gideon. Yeah, sure assemble. We would just use like the one the one mode on it. We wouldn't really be assembling, but I could definitely see that being worth it. Can 
banish evil from this plane. Share in my light. <laughs> you, you think we're going to have shorter games? No. Not when there's agent of treachery every turn. That was nothing. You like the mace with Krenko? Oh, that was a that was a great card there. Give them another blocker. Uh, yeah, we would have had lethal. All right, so I'm definitely exiling this Agent of Treachery. Prepare for battle. We gotta get this agent of treachery out of here. They don't have the mana. I mean, I guess they they could have Ritual of So Did. Yeah, I guess they, they should have... Yeah, they could have used Feather to attack Gideon. And then Sack Feather. Bring back the Scholar. And then... And get back Ritual of So like this and cast Ritual of So. Like, they could have done that. They just didn't... They just didn't do those things. Lend you my strength. So they didn't see that line, I guess. And because the defiant, the one extra damage with the defiant strike for lethal there, they still should have just had feather attack Gideon because it's the same as blocking Gideon. I still should have had that, like feather attack Gideon there. Okay, extra prison realm. Um, so prison realm and coil, lava coil seem pretty important. Agent of treachery steals any permanent, which is unfortunate. So I can't just like have outlaws merriment hang out over here. Unfortunately, I'm not playing Hushbringer. Wish we had more exile than what we got. I guess I'm playing these merriments though. I don't really want shock. All right, I feel like we stole that game. <laughs> Why?
right now Mary Mint in the main for the funsies? It could be. It could definitely be in the main deck instead of the Gideons. You have the Gideons in the main deck. Those could be... Um, or the Krenkos. You know, like, either of those could be Mary Mint. That is true. You you are more happy when playing Mary Mint. It's, it's why they named the card that. I... I I kind of have it in the sideboard as like this extra threat that my opponent isn't going to be expecting out of a feather deck kind of thing and hoping that they don't have like the enchantment removal or, you know, or the, the, that they're ready for it. Hmm. I mean, that does say draw then discard. So I guess it's required to play it. So I think I should go Gideon, not Kranko, because of... Uh, Ritual of Soot. Yeah. Because of Ritual of Soot. I think I go Gideon here. Could just Defiant Strike it. So if I go Defiant Strike, I draw two. Nah, we can wait on that. Let me lead the charge into darkness. Your light will cleave the darkness. Um. I don't know, like, there's there's no chat here, so I don't know if, like, my opponents know who I am or not, like, whenever we're playing there. I, I don't know. Okay, so we're still going to do Vigilance. I believe in you, friend. And let's go... Hmm... Defiant Strike or Gird for Battle? Probably just Strike. I guess this does mean they get to double block the Arcanist. Though now... Hmm. Well, they do double block, then Kesmina dies. I will Try return with best. even more disciples. All right, fair enough. Yeah, so the the problem with Gideon is we don't we don't get to protect Gideon with God's willing because it's just target creature if they have agent of treachery and try to steal Gideon. No count no counters do not turn into loyalty. You, like a planeswalker can have loyalty counters and plus one plus one counters. They're separate counters. It can have both.
I believe in you. So they have the death touch creature. Okay. I see. I was, I was going to let them. You know, it's kind of see if they wanted to kill any of these. If I had one more white source, I'd prefer to ha you know play Feather and then have these things because Feather gets to put them back in my hand, of course. But I don't don't have another white source. <laughs> How to get their game one? Um, Gideon helped out. Gideon making Cranko indestructible and Cranko attacking a few times. My sword is your end. All our creatures. I don't want to put too, mu too much out for ritual of for ritual of soot. I don't want to put too much out. I do like reducing Gideon's loyalty before a potential agent of treachery. Also, yeah, protection does cover from death touch. Prepare for battle. I still get to jump block Gideon. I should have done the Gideon as pro blue. Perfect. Perfect. I will lend you my strength. So I was thinking even if they like would steal feather, I would have the removal for feather. And but this works out just fine.
So it wasn't basically Agent of Treachery couldn't save my opponent. I mean, I guess if they still if they would have stole the three five Dreadhorde Arcanist, but that just doesn't seem like the card that you would steal. That was the card they needed to to stay alive. You made an amplifier deck with eyes everywhere. There we go. That's spicy. Let's say you have a red creature and use Vivian the Arcbow Ranger to deal damage. What color is the damage source from? Um, I, th I think like you can you can do pro red or pro green, either way, because you can protect from like the Vivian targeting by just saying pro green. But I'm pretty sure it says that the creature deals the damage, then the red creature would be dealing damage. Oh, did I ever update the deckless command? I did not, did I? Hello. <laughs> Matthew says we're having a branding issue. It's not 5 0 Friday. We shouldn't be defeating the final boss every time today. Hey, it's been a very successful Tuesday Brews Day. That's for sure. blocks. Hmm. Just get this extra attack in here <clears throat> before we need to play Feather and have the other two spells available. Attack, do it. All right, I love taking that trade right there. Now this Cranko is gonna be too big. I love it. We got a backup feather. Oh, there's God's willing. Five. Gobos with Krenko. That was sweet. <laughs> Tuesday final boss gets bruised day. So yeah, they just have to kill Feather, but now I don't know how they're dealing with this Krenko. They're kind of not dealing with the Krenko. All right, game one winner. I was just gonna gird for battle for the extra counter and then hold up. God's willing. I guess maybe I should have Defiant Striked. You really need the counter. So they're playing black and green. So they're going to try to have a whole lot of removal. 
I don't I don't think Gideon's like necessarily the best here. I think I'd rather have Merriment than Gideon. Ooh, the Solar Blaze is pretty interesting. It's an interesting one. I'm not sure if they're gonna have like Vivian Arcbow Ranger. That I'd want this prison realm for instead of playing the Devout Decrees. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, they changed the rope direction. I'm going to take out a Shock and take out an Arcanist. Arcanist is like my worst threat against a bunch of removal. Yeah, that's why we, we have the memory leaks is because they were just too worried about the rope direction. Good that we didn't play any giants, because our opponent is a noted giant slayer. So I'm glad we're not playing like Bone Crusher Giant. Cause that would have been a that would have been bad for me. Coil or decree? We'll go decree. as I cast Coil. I meant to say the word Coil. We'll go Coil. That's why. I was about to say it, but I was just a little slow. But yeah, that's why, because of Reggie. Um... Yeah, we'll keep that. Okay, so yeah, question is, how does trample work when you assign like two damage to a creature with two health and then and two to the two to them, but then they uh, buff it to become a five five? What happens? So. The you don't assign the dam like the assigning the damage part is the very last thing. So they'd have to pump their creature first before um, you say that it's you know two 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 you know if it's like a, a two two you know that they're trying to giant growth they have to do the giant growth first before you apply damage. This is the last deck of the day because I usually just play till ten. And it's 9.13 already, and we got a lot of games to go still. I feel like lava, just playing just playing Lava Coil and nothing else is kind of... You know, it's not a very good turn. No, it does get rid of the Questing Beast, of course. I'm going to just drop the Merry Mint here. See, maybe we draw Red Mana and we can go, like, Robber and Coil. But we'll just drop Merry Mint, take another four... Um, so 
This questing beast is a problem. Ah, uh, you bought your, bought your mom dinner tonight? That's really nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Castle? Yay! That deals with Questing Beast. I feel like if they had black removal that they would have responded to my... Wow, they didn't respond to it? Okay, well... Got outplayed. I felt like they would have responded... ...to that. But obviously I was wrong. Should have done pro-black, I guess. But that's the thing, is I, I felt like if, if they had black removal, like it was like a test. If they had black removal, then then they just respond to the God's willing and just kill my, kill my um, feather and don't let me say pro-black. They blocked. Yeah, I could have saved my two two with God's willing, but I don't know. I'll I'll wait on it. Oh, right. I forgot about Questing Beast. The pro green doesn't even work against Questing Beast because of the anti-damage protection, uh, that part in there. So, yeah, I, I definitely should have just done pro black then. Yeah, I certainly should have done pro black. <laughs> that is true. Questing Beast is a novel. Like that's that's more than a short story. This Outlaw's Merriment has been ridiculously good though. It's been awesome. Look at how much look at how much we've gotten from this Outlaw's Merriment. Oh no! They actually had removal for merriment. No. Is 
So I, I could have made a token and tried to sprint the token. But that's only that doesn't kill them, though. That only would put them down to one. I'll just save the sprint. All right, GG's. All right, two and zero with Boros Feather. New cart, like you know, Merriment's been good. Um, Robber the Rich has just been been fine. hasn't hasn't been spectacular, but just two two haste. It's just better than the other two drop options to replace Vanguard. Cranko has been really impressive. Waroof with the sub. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub there. Getting us so close to our sub goal on the ninth with our ninth sub. Thanks, Waroof. So do we ditch Temple or ditch Planes? Probably ditch Temple. Yeah, we're going to ditch Temple. Yeah, I, I definitely really underrated Merriment during preview season, thinking, oh man, we can't play this four-man enchantment in a Teferi world. Basically because we're not in a Teferi world anymore. We're in an Oko world. And Oko doesn't deal with enchantments. But yeah, Merriment's been pretty awesome. All right, we got two lands down at the bottom. There's only 22 lands in the deck. So there's, plus these three, there's only 17 in the next 52 cards. Which I don't know the math on that, but I think the math on that is that's not very many. This could be a really nice turn here. If my opponent just plays like a, a runaway Steamkin or something, like they don't kill Arcanist. We get to go Legionnaire plus Gird for battle plus recast Gird for battle. We can make these things huge. I guess it would just be a 3-5 Arcanist and a 6-6 six, six Legionnaire. Yeah, Fine Strike's good. Look at those little 1-1s. One so they're at 11? I can maybe kill them next turn with Legionnaire. So it's a 6-6. Six, six. So 6, and then 7, 8, 9. If we draw another 1-mana pump spell... Wait, but then I can I can recast it with Arcanist. So yeah, they're just dead. They're just dead. Well, 1, that's not a good attack. Now they're they're just dead to the Arcanist also. Sure. But I guess I guess I would have just been able to make both these creatures pro red before blocking. Yeah, that card's good. That's pretty good. Turn four, Keel. All right, Clarion. Definitely getting Clarion in here. I guess Solar Blaze kills all their things except for the two four, like the four mana two four kills everything else. So that's probably good. 
Um, Gideon. Let's get rid of Prison Realm. It's like Robber the Rich and Cranko are like the two cards I'm not super excited about. I guess we get rid of Cranko. What do I think of Gideon? Oh, man, man, I got Devout Decrees also to play? Uh, how do I have room for all this stuff? Do I just not play Devout Decree? That's weird. I mean, Decree is just an upgraded Lava Coil. Do I just not play Robber the Rich? Do I have enough threats then? 14 threats. It's not very many. Can I play Outlaws Merriment? Is Merriment better than Gideon? I don't know. We'll try this. So that's us thinking that we have so much removal in the deck right now, it's maybe just too much removal. That maybe like a car like Merry Mint can just win the game on its own while all the rest of our cards are just being removal kind of thing. Hey, thanks, Lenziller. Thank you. So yeah, I could definitely see Merry Mint being better than Gideon. We just got to find a threat. There's only 12 in the deck, though. But we only need one of them. Good job, Salu. Where'd he go? Alright, we're not doing the whole find one threat thing. It's true, Gideon could exile Frenzy. It's true. They have so many threats, and I have none, and I'm so jealous. Meh. <laughs> That's me crying. What are we playing here? We're playing uh, Boros Uncastables. That's our deck. I thought it was going to be a good idea, but so far all of our spells are uncastable. Hmm. Who would have known? I guess I need to just waste a Samet Sprint just to scry one. Guess. The crank has been very good for us.
on her. Alright, going with Merriment. Dropping a Sprint and a Gideon. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks, Lenziller. The coils have been good. Exiling stuff is pretty nice at times. Life's so difficult. So now we need to draw a red source. <laughs> they never get a, give us everything, except for game one, I guess. They gave us everything. I have 14 red sources. Last game I had to draw a thread, and we had 12 threads, so we didn't do it. This time we have to draw a red source, and we have 14 red sources. I love this card. If, if I didn't have Clarion, I would not be even thinking about keeping this, but Clarion, love this card. This is like why I want to keep it. I'm going to do it just because this card is awesome. Obviously, if we don't get to cast it, it's not going to matter. I think we can I think we can do it though. It's getting late. We're just going for it. <clears throat> we don't need it like the very first turn even if we cast like turn four clarion we'll be okay Well, they kept a one lander. So, the battle of the people not doing anything. Target creature you control? Bleh. I can't target them. They're creatures. No, yeah, the, the, I really like the Krenkos. I've been very happy with them. We did it. We did it. Pro white. I guess that thing doesn't die to Clarion.
that should be lethal. I guess maybe, yeah. Yeah, it should be lethal. I mean, I guess they could have a shock to kill my Arcanist after Clarion. That's what they need. I can see your message there, Anatran. So if they have shock for Arcanist here, they survive. They do not. GG's. Then, you know, we're going to recast Gird for battle. Make those things bigger. All right, we're three now. Feather looking good. Keeping this because we got the double temple. We have red and white mana, and we have the double temple to scry. Look for threats. Temer. Well, we can shock a goose. If they have a goose. Fortunately, our mana is so awkward that it's just all four tap lands. All right, it looks like Reclamation, not Planeswalkers. I, I should have probably kept that mountain to have it on top land to go to this robber. I should have kept that mountain. If I would have drawn untapped land, you know, I would have only go robber here. But I, I'm not playing robber into Bone Crusher Giant without protection. Uh, limited is draft. I guess you mean do you, do you do sealed or draft if you don't have many? I mean, sealed is better value. Um, I guess if you're using gems, drafting is drafting is also good value with gems too. You can really do either one. It's better value with gems than the gold. It costs more with the gold. Three damage? That's a ridiculous amount of damage. Alright, my well my waste a shock earlier to make it so I have less cards in hand than they do. Plan didn't work out. Basically, if there's, if there's one of the two with sealed or drafted, there's one of the two that you feel more comfortable in. I mean, this game's just obviously over. Got punished for keeping... Keeping some bad hands a couple of times. We'll have a lot better chance after sideboarding get to take out these shocks and lava coils that aren't doing anything.
At least my opponent hasn't seen very much of my deck. They've just seen Shock and Robber of the Rich. They can probably assume that I'm a Feather deck, but I haven't made any showing for me to be a Feather deck. With it already being late, I probably should just concede and move on. But I guess you never know. I wish I had protection for Feather. They have other ops earlier? No, never mind. They had those ops. All right, well, they're out of ops, almost out of insights. My opponent's playing Team of Reclamation. And I guess I don't have a very good sideboard for it. I guess I'll have to keep playing Shocks. The problem with Prison Realm is Brazen Borrower. Hmm. I guess our, my sideboard needs just a couple more spells against decks with no... Against decks with, like, no creatures. Yeah, I could have coiled and shocked and let them draw a million more cards. And kill all my stuff. There's, there's no point in playing that game anymore. So Prison Realm doesn't trigger Niv. Niv Mizzet. Where Fry and Decree do. Um it's just their only creatures are Brazen Borrower, Bone Crusher Giant, and Niv. There's just nothing to spyglass to get Castle Vantress. You tied in Blaze, Fry, and Decree? That's way too much removal. Um, sometimes they have Rel. I don't, I don't think it's normal. But yeah, I guess sometimes they have Rel. Get him, Robber. Look at how rich they are. All those cards. Yeah, getting rid of Insight. That's a great one. I'll probably never cast that because they're going to kill my robber.
boo. Basically, I just don't like playing Cranko that die, dies to shock and like you know to you know like they're playing a bunch of shocks and um, the giants. Oh, already played a land. Yeah, definitely like the land though. With seeing all these quenches and stuff. I kind of feel like how they were, like, you know, seeing if they wanted to respond and everything like that. I kind of feel like they had a quench. <sighs> okay. So I try Cranko plus Sprint. So that's, that's why I didn't Sprint, because I thought I, I was kind of reading them for having a quench. That would have countered Sprint. I don't know if I should just be, if I should even be doing this. Yay. Um, Shaman of Forgotten Ways. I don't think so, no. Um, but Rizzy, no, I'm not, I'm not really planning on playing Pioneer.
wish I had more threats to bring in. Alright, I'll play Decree instead of Fry, I guess, in case there is a Rel. Yeah, they're playing Teamer Reclamation. Which is, yeah, it's like a control deck. Wins with Niv Mizzet. And Explosion, playing very large Explosion with Reclamation. They usually have like a lot of two damage removal. Even Flame Sweep, Flame Sweep, Shock, Bone Crusher, Giant. The Rouse Outburst, of course, to do three, but that's so that makes getting to three really important. So we have Defiant Strike here that can they can turn this into three. I would have kept that if it was a white source. That is just... Okay. That's not as bad. We get it back. This game they have reclamation like they did in the last few games and this just gets so much gives them so much mana. We know they like one of the cards in their hand. They kept a card in hand. Oh they kept a card on top, sorry. So I already played my land this turn. But with Feather, of course, you just want a whole lot of mana. Gross. Ugh. It's a lot easier to beat their deck when they don't have Wilderness Reclamation, as we saw those other games.
worried about that card. I was really worried about that card. There you go. Good job, Triton. You just went 3-0 and ranked with Racto Sacrifice. Move up a tier. Good job. <laughs> Play this card, gain 5 mana this turn, and then, you know, like, 10 plus mana every single turn afterwards. They still have, you know, another untap with Worldness Reclamation here. Card's completely fair. Hey, you're welcome, European man. That's a very nice thank you. So yeah, you're welcome. My opponent had it all this game. That's for sure. Should just be explosion to kill us. <laughs> They're bluffing. Yeah, I side out. Yeah, I side boarded out shock. <laughs> yep, still my least favorite card in standard. I mean, I guess Oko is pretty bad too, but I never liked Wilderness Reclamation. I know, right? Where's Deflecting Palm? I thought we had that when we had the two huge creatures, but they played Niv Mizzet. And still got to untap and have millions of mana and get to kill one of my creatures and be able to block the other and draw so many cards. That was the turn we lost. Teferi's your least favorite? Yeah, Drake's is already up on YouTube right now. Yep.
Yeah, give me that harpooner. Uh, no, legendary is not a type for delirium. No. Oh, I need to play my land. Too late. I didn't get an extra trigger. I was not likely going to be able to cast anything anyway, but you never know. Could have been a one mana card. Could have been like a Pelt Collector. But I would have had to shock, which I'm not sure if shocking is great for this match. Definitely hoping to draw a lava coil there. Um, I don't know if Grim Flare is good enough for. Pioneer, especially if you don't have if you don't have delirium, probably not. I don't know. I mean, I just I just don't know. You know, I guess it depends on all the the whole rest of the deck and everything. So of course I wanted to have four mana before I played Feather, but I couldn't couldn't wait around anymore and they had Collision Colossus. So, you know, what you gonna do? Alright, definitely a Solar Blade match, not a Gideon match. They're too aggressive for Gideon, which if I'm not having Gideon, I kinda wanna have the Merriments. Um maybe get rid of these sprints. I guess the sprint does make Arcanist better. Get rid of Robber. Alright, how does this look? There'd be times where Clarion would be really nice. Let's try this. It's really slow at filling the yard. It has to deal damage. It's only a two. It's a two mana two two, and it has to deal damage to the opponent. Um, no, I. I think there's probably better things. That'd be my guess.
Yeah, Grizzly Salvage is awesome. Is Seder Wayfinder? I'd assume Seder Wayfinder is available. Alright, well here's the game. Did they have removal for feather or not? GG. If I had a fourth land, I'm not playing feather there, but I don't have a fourth land, and obviously with Gruel is the type of deck that you can't just sit around and wait. Good game. I gotta kill that questing beast. I also need to find another feather or something. Come on. Talk about a curve. I can't just like fire off God's willing to scry because it's only targets creatures I control. Awesome hands there for the Gruel opponent. Good job. Yeah, you know, both times like that Gruel deck doesn't play very much removal. Both times I only had three lands, so I had to just throw out throw out a feather with just my three lands, and if I get to untap with it, I win. But they had removal for it both times, and you know played Questing Beast on. Turn four. Um, and Hellkite, turn five, both games. So, GG. Um, is Red Cap Melee a substitute for Reckless Rage? No, not at all. Not at all. No, because... No. Is you just have to sacrifice it. Like it doesn't. It doesn't. You don't get to return this at all. Like reckless rage, you get to return. Like just playing lava coil or justice strike is a lot better. Um. So yeah, Cranko looked kind of slow against the red decks. I think I was pretty impressed with Merry Mints just in general. I kind of think that I just want Merry Mints like instead of Gideon's, um, for the deck. I liked Outlaw's Merriment. Maybe maybe one additional land. Sam at Sprint didn't look that good. We didn't get to we never got to like sprint Cranko. And my opponent not have removal, but there's a lot of times like where I just had like sprint and Gur for battle and didn't have threats. Robber the Rich was okay. That's about it. Just kinda like okay. That could be that could be a twenty third land here. Like if we have Come on, there you go. 
Get another planes in there for a 23rd land over a robber. And play to Merriment. Maybe it's supposed to be Merriment instead of Krenko's. I don't know. There's a couple of times where Krenko was awesome. But maybe instead of Gideon's, play Krenk play Merriment. Um, the deck worked pretty well overall, though. I kept some greedy hands for sure. I uh, there's a good amount of my losses were me keeping greedy hands. I wish I had just a couple of more threats in the sideboard um, to be able to have against the control decks. Um, probably don't need like Solar Blaze or like the third Spyglass. Um, the Prison Realms were good. But anyway, that's Boros Feather. I think it's still playable. I do think it's still playable. I think Outlaw's Merriment was nice. Um, even without Reckless Rage, I still think this is a playable deck. It's not... It's not one of the best things you can be doing, of course. I mean, that's Oko, okay, but um, I do think it's a, a playable deck, and we had um, had some good stuff against like um, against like red aggro and things like that. Anyway, it's late. Time to get on out of here. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, please hit that like and subscribe buttons and leave some comments. Let me know what you think of Boris Feather. Um, you know, if you've if you've been trying Feather out, let me know if it's going good for you. If there's anything that I'm missing in the deck here, if there's um, any new additions or anything that I'm missing um, that's good for this meta game. Um, Gruel, of course, it, or not uh, Naya is another option because you get Domri's ambush, which is awesome. But the the mana is just really tough with Naya. Um, yeah, the, the mana is just really tough with Naya, but. Anyway, that's Boros Feather. So, again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.